Hello, Marvelites. You're watching This Week in Marvel, and I'm Ryan, a.k.a. Agent M. And I'm C.B. Sobolski, the Editor-in-Chief. And so we've been doing these episodes all year long, celebrating Marvel's 80th anniversary here on This Week in Marvel, uh, looking back at different decades and different themes and artists and all kinds of stuff. So for the 1990s, we wanted to, one, look at Spider-Man. Yep. Because it's a very important decade for the Web Slinger. Exactly. But two, we wanted to look at some of the artists there. And so one of the fun things that I did was I looked at every single artist who drew an issue of the four core Spider-Man titles throughout the 1990s, and that, which is wild because Spider-Man had four ongoing series for a good chunk of the decade. We wanted to share with you guys the five most prolific Spider-Man artists of the 1990s. Yeah, it's a great list. It is, it is. It's specifically looking at those four core titles, no annuals, no bonus issues, no... no Backup stories. Yeah, it's, it's just the main pencilers and seeing how many stories that they've done. And you may be going, okay, great. Todd McFarlane's going to be right in there. You'd be wrong. One of the most noted artists of the generation of a spider in the history of Spider-Man, yeah. but the bulk of his work came in the 80s. Yeah, 28 issues with Spider-Man in the 80s, only, and I say only, 15 in the 90s, 15 of the most incredible, and they're great and wonderful, we love them, we will talk about them on the audio version, but he only does 15. So the top five, number five is Eric Larson. Yep. Eric comes in with 27 issues, a lot of them on Amazing Spider-Man, and he finishes off with the adjectiveless Spider-Man title, but some really great stuff. Yep, and, you know, Eric's been been back, uh, you know, doing some stuff for Marvel in the, uh, recently, and we hope to see more from him, maybe some Spider-Man soon, so we can continue to add to his number. Yes. At number four, John Romita Jr. Oh. The and, legend. Yeah, you know, John Romita Jr., we talked about him a bunch for the 80s when we were talking about Kenny X-Men. Of course, he has a lot of work with Spidey in the 2000s. Yep. But in the 90s, has 46 issues of Spider-Man that he draws, 32 of them for Spider-Man uh, and 11 more for Peter Parker, Spider-Man, and a couple odds, and then across that. Yep. All right, number three, here we go, Alex Saviak. Alex Great work. He actually starts his run on uh, Web of Spider-Man in the 1980s, similar to Todd McFarlane. He does 21 issues of Web of Spider-Man in the 80s, but then 50 of them, 50 issues of Spider-Man on Web of Spider-Man in the 90s. It's incredible work. All right. Number two, someone we love, still doing a ton of amazing work for us, Mark Bagley. Bags. Gotta love Mark Bagley. Comes in with 59 issues of Spider-Man, 57 of them on Amazing, and is really one of the artists I think of when I think of Spider-Man. He's, you know, my first uh, Amazing Spider-Man issues were either McFarlane, Larson, or Bagley. I have very specific memories of Mark's work on Spider-Man. And then comes back a decade later, which we might talk about in a future podcast, starts on Ultimate Spider-Man and sets a record for most consecutive issues of a comic book with Brian Bendis on that series. Yes. Incredible. Legendary stuff. All right. But who's number one? Well, Sal Buscema. 75 issues. That is wild. Unheard Uh, of. Amazing. He also, as we were talking about, some of them had issues in the 80s. 28 issues of Spectacular Spider-Man in the 80s, going then into 75 issues of Spectacular Spider-Man in the 90s. And these are long runs. It's not like, you know, scattered throughout. It's, I think, 51 issues and 24 issues in a row, something Mm -hmm. like that. It is wild. And on the audio version, reread issue number 200, which is... Such a stunning issue and really shows the level of storytelling and an incredible work that Sal has. You know, and a lot of people say that these are artists, but in this case, Sal is a storyteller. He is one of the best. And you could take all the words out of a lot of those issues and still fully understand what all those characters are going through emotionally and physically without the without the balloons. So, yeah. He's just one of the best. Incredible stuff all around. We have a lot more to talk about on the audio version of This Week in Marvel, our uh, 90s special edition. So make sure you check that out wherever you get your audio. We'll be back with another episode soon. I'm Ryan. And I'm CB. And this is Marvel. Your universe. Thwip.